What's up gamers? It's your boy Daily Tactics and today we have a video I've been wanting to do for a really long time. A mortar only defense. So for the first battle here, yes we're going to be doing multiple battles getting bigger and bigger as we go on. Uh, the first mortar defense is going to be one mortar versus 100 battle droids yes there is a mortar spotter here so that way the mortar knows where to shoot uh it's a necessary mechanic of the game most of the time so my boy uh let's name him chaz mcgee clone trooper chaz mcgee is going to be spotting for the mortar uh and then in the next battle i'm thinking we're going to do 10 mortars and 500 enemies and then finally we'll do 100 mortars versus 1000 enemies just to keep on kicking it up a notch. I think it's going to be really, really exciting. If you guys enjoy this type of content, please be sure to hit that like button. Let's try and get a thousand likes in the first 24 hours. Subscribe if you have not already. We're working our way towards 30, 350k and we're so close. And not to mention, comment down below if you'd like to see some other wacky unit defenses like this in the future. Either way, guys, let's get right on into it here. What's up gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Meta of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So, Thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. Righty then gamers, let's go ahead and press start right here and the battle droid army begins its march forward. We can go ahead and zoom in on our mortar friend here and see when he starts to fire. Let's actually go in fast speed until the uh, droids get into sort of that firing range. Not spotted yet. They're getting awfully close. You can see on the mini map the red dots. Ah. You can see him in the distance out there now, and the mortar still has not fired. We are back in normal speed now. Look at them walking forward in formation. Come on, mortar. Oh, here we go. Spotter finally calls them out. Chaz McGee giving the mortar some uh, good tips right there, and the mortar does manage one excellent splashdown right there. I didn't see where the second one landed. Oh, third one lands right over here. Not a beefy part of the droid army right there. The droids are just spamming in fire. Uh, most of them are hitting this barricade in front of the clones, uh, but a few are impacting the mortar and things. Chaz McGee gets grenaded. One mortar trooper goes down. The second mortar trooper taking over the helm of the battle. He is still getting some good shots off, but he ends up dying as well. Chaz McGee is the only clone left on the battlefield. Let's see how many kills the mortar ended up getting. 36! So it took out over a third of the battle droids in this battle so that's not bad but let's kick it up a notch with a whole lot more mortars and a whole lot more battle droids all right chaz mcgee has moved up in the battlefield here he's now posting up a little bit farther forward protecting the 10 mortars and spotting for them with his binox right there and the droids now have 500 troopers so it's 500 versus 10 mortars 21 clone troopers on the battlefield in total versus 500 b1 battle droid units and i forgot to have these guys move forward one second just a wee bit of a programming error there not all of my battles are always perfect i make mistakes quite often uh but there we go now the droids are all moving on forward here let's go into fast motion here let's see where the actually before we go into fast motion let's see where the farthest point the first mortar can fire out uh it looks to be like right about where the droids are now but they're not firing because chaz mcgee has not spotted them yet this hillside and all these barricades make for great cover but it also makes it so the spotter uh will see the droids a lot later so you know it's a bit of a catch 22 you know you you can't have it all but here we go now the mortars are starting to fire out rounding out fire against the battle droid army here and peppering their lines with an immense amount of fire even taking down entire trees with that caliber of fire right there the explosions just keep on coming this is like straight up rounding fire at these droids never stopping always one of the mortar getting a shot off which is definitely a very very devastating thing right there the mortar is currently doing just fine uh none of them dead yet though now a lot of incoming fire is hitting them a lot of it's concentrated on chaz mcgee chaz no 
Chaz is down for the count, my boy, Chaz. That's really tragic. Chaz, you were a beautiful, beautiful man. Oh, Chaz. Either way, the mortars go quiet for just a moment here. The droids clearly, uh, you know, in camouflage right here behind the trees. Not to mention the spotter is dead, Chaz McGee. But the mortars now have to spot for themselves. They see a few on the outskirts over here. They take them out real quick. All right, let's check out how many kills each mortar has. This one has 37. This one has 38. This one has 33. This one has 24. And this one has two. All right, weak mortar team right there. Uh, this one has 43, this one has 43, this one has 24, this one has 44, and this one is 50. So actually, the mortars in the back line seem to have more kills than the mortars in the front lines, which is not something I'd expect. I, I would have expected it to be the opposite. I'm hearing another round of mortar fire going out, but they all land very close up. They need some beefy shots in the middle of the droids right there. Another round just absolutely clobbering some droids now. It's not so much rounding fire now. It's more like they're doing spurts of fire all together, which could be more effective. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'd assume the rounding fire is probably the more effective way or means of uh, killing these droids, but it is what it is. All right, let's go in fast motion for a little bit here uh, as the droids don't really want to attack. I think they've been scared. Their circuits are all busted now, but here they come moving forward a little bit here, getting some more shots off on the droids, or sorry, on the clones, but then more mortar fire comes in and just completely crushes these droids. The 500 droids that were on the battlefield are now quickly becoming in the single digits here, but, but yeah, probably. No, nah, maybe, maybe still double digits. Certainly not triple digits. Maybe like 15 or so droids. Okay, now they're in the single digits. We got like less than a squad of droids left. Oh, more going down right there. We have like five troopers remaining. Let's go ahead and just charge them on forward here. Five B1 battle droids versus 10 mortars. Not a single mortar trooper ended up going down. Only Chaz McGee. But here we go. Now that these guys are up here, they're actually getting kills on the mortars. Oh, God. Guys, fire. Fire, fire, fire. Come on. I can't be the cause. Oh, God. They're they're too, too too close in. All right. Get off the mortar and just start firing at them. Come on. I can't, I can't be blamed for this L. It's clearly a clone victory. There we go. All right. They won. <laughs> All right. Let's get 100 mortars on the battlefield and 1,000 battle droids now. Chaz the clone trooper has fully recovered from his injuries, I am pleased to say, um, and he's also brought in some reinforcements. Chaz as a commander loves uh, mortars. That's that's pretty much his forte. He's like, you know what? I'm I'm more of a mortar kind of guy. You might like regular troopers. You might like ATTs, but me, give me a whole 100 mortars and I'm good to go against 1,000 battle droids. We even have some flanking battle droids on both sides now. So this is just getting it kicked up to a whole new level. I don't even know where the other battle droid unit went. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I lost it for a second there. All right, 1,000 battle droids versus 100 mortars. Chaz is, of course, further up uh, ahead of the mortars here to do some spotting. Uh, I'm expecting, yeah, probably some immediate mortar fire here i'm guessing so let's go ahead and see mortars repositioning themselves over here to address the flankers they've taken their sweet time though maybe they haven't loaded up preliminary shots or anything like that but already we're having more mortar losses than in the last battle and these mortars aren't even firing out yet what, what's going on here boys yeah, they've got the angle maybe the treetops are preventing them from really firing I'm not entirely sure should we try rotating them maybe a little bit more? Try and help these boys out? I, I don't know why they're not firing. Boys! Boys, what's going on here? You should have this. Fire! Fire! Guys! What is happening? The mo the mortars aren't firing! Are you on are you on fire mode hold or something? No? You're on fire at will! Can, can you fire? Well, this one's facing the wrong way. Oh, that one's facing the wrong way. This one's facing dead on, though. Yeah, it can fire. I don't see why it's not. I'm very perplexed by this. One second. Okay, I, I've deleted some trees, moved a couple mortars. Maybe now we'll get some mortar fire out of these fells. Yes! Okay, I think it was the trees. I think the, the big tree right here, its hitbox is interfering with the mortar fire. So either way, now we do have uh, some of our mortars firing out here. And yeah, they just obliterate this 100 
uh, battle droid unit over here almost instantly. However, uh, the last remaining battle droids do manage to get a couple of kills on those clone trooper mortars. More mortar firing coming out and hurting more of those boys though. Uh, meanwhile, the 800 uh, battle droids that are down middle are now charging forward, and uh, so is the other 100 battle droids over this way, uh, which is brutal, because these guys over here are going uncontested currently uh, by the clones. Hopefully we don't have the same thing that happened before, and we don't because we do get to see at least a mortar fire out over this way, so those guys just need to reposition their mortars to fire out over that away. Chaz McGee is starting to take some fire here. He's getting hit, but he crouches down. He's still the spotter for the clone trooper army here. And here we go. The incoming mortar fire begins to strike the main group of battle droids over here. Just really hitting the front, though. That's one major problem that the mortars have is they preliminarily... Prim primarily, not preliminarily, primarily hit the front of the battle droid army instead of the juicy middle sweet spot. It's definitely an error that the clone trooper should try and adjust. Um... These 100 battle droids over here have all been wiped out, by the way. It is only the middle and right flanks now that are still active on the battlefield. Trees getting felled over here on the right side. Uh, the droids on the right side getting some good fire out. It is getting very, very laggy with all the droids and all the explosions on the battlefield. A couple of mortar team members have died over here on the right side. Oh my god, look at this lag. Oh, let's just get a, let's just get a view of all the mortars firing out. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, it's a beautiful, beautiful sight. This is absolutely absurd! <laughs> oh my god, look at that! And the impacts just shredding the front droids here. Again, a juicy shot in the back would just make all the difference in the world in terms of this battle. It would get so many droid kills, uh, but the, the clones just don't seem to be able to do that. I did see one blue laser fire. That must be Chaz. He, he must be firing out from somewhere. Or yeah, Chaz, there he is. Yeah, Chaz is firing himself now. He's decided there's so many droids, he doesn't even need to spot for the clones anymore. He could just partake in the battle if he so decides, and, and it'll be fine. More mortar shells impacting here, killing more battle droid units, just absolutely shredding. Oh, those are some juicy shots right there. Yes, we're getting, oh, we're getting some big boys. Oh my god. Yes. Holy cow. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's that's it right there, boys. Still on the right flank. There's still a few droids, but most of those guys are dead now. They did manage to get a few clone trooper kills right there. Here we go. The rapid fire. Let's go in full speed here. And just observe. Observe the beauty of all of the clone trooper fire. Yes. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, I love it. All right. There's still probably a couple hundred droids left alive over here. They're all just sort of crouching down, though. And the clones do quiet their guns for a bit here. Let's go in fast speed. See who makes the first move. Either the clone mortars or the battle droids. And it's going to be the battle droids. The battle droids begin a push forward. And I hear some more clone fire coming out. And here we go. We're getting the impacts. Pretty weak impacts, though. Those are... Those were pretty bad impacts. I'm also hearing some shots going off over this way, too. Last of the battle droids over there, clearly putting up some sort of resistance. Here we go. More fire coming out from the droids, and the mortars begin to just shred. Oh, my lordy, lordy. Let's go into normal speed here. That was just brutal. Chaz did take some shots right there, but he is still kicking it, baby. All right, let's check some mortar stats here. This guy's got four kills, this guy's got three kills, this guy's got 29 kills, this guy's got 33 kills, this guy's got 28, 19, 2, 2, 8, 43, 12, 3, 2. All right, so only really some of the mortars are getting crazy, crazy kills here. Most of them just sort of chilling in those single digis, uh, but a few of them do have crazy amounts of kills. There we go. That little last strike of mortars wiped out the vast majority of the remaining droids. Now we've got what? Uh, less than a squad left. Less than a squad left. Let's push them up to this point here. See if they get a kill. Maybe. <laughs> Probably not. They're crawling on forward. They're scared. They're scared of these mortars, man. <laughs> Over 950 troopers are dead now for the droids. There's very, very few remaining. And mortars start striking out again. It's over on this guy over here. He's still alive. Oh, he goes down. Yeah. Um, droids start firing over this way, too. Incoming mortar fire. 
wipes out the remaining droids. All of the droids are now dead. The clone trooper army has seriously won the day here. This was a really fun battle, really weird, really quirky, but I enjoyed it, and I hope you guys did too. So if you did, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below uh, if you'd like to see some more wonky stuff like this. This is, this is some weird stuff. All right, guys, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.